New at five in the fight against COVID, researchers are now looking into a blood test that could eventually help them determine a person's risk for long-term effects. A woman tells us she is still feeling the effects of being infected after being one of the first to contract the virus in March of 2020. Once or twice a week, I'll wake up and feel like this really weird surge or like internal vibrations in my chest area. Um, my lips will kind of vibrate or tingle when I eat certain foods. Lisa O'Brien says she still feels fatigued as well, just kind of flat, not a lot of energy, but she is no longer losing clumps of hair or experiencing fluctuations in her heart rate that have been dramatic. New research finding that people who develop long COVID have lower levels of certain antibodies in their blood shortly after infection. In a study done over a year, researchers watched the symptoms of people who had been infected and then tried to predict from their immune responses who would develop post-COVID symptoms. They say that this could help with long haul treatments down the road. You can target potentially therapies earlier or identify those patients for research long term. Um, so I think that's how this could potentially help if it was validated. And the word here is potentially, potentially enable scientists to develop a blood test to figure out the why behind long haul symptoms. Dr. Brown says about 30% of those with COVID could experience persistent symptoms that simply will not go away.